Hi everybody, this is Mr. Peterson and welcome to a brief tutorial on how to insert photos into the Google Docs writing app. So that way you can um, sort of edit those photos out and make them uh, wrap around text and look a little bit more professional for any published pieces you may want to create. So I'm going to get started by jumping into the Google Docs app and um, I'm going to open up the document that I happen to be writing on. And uh, you'll see here that here's my writing, right? I have a whole bunch of just basic font. It's called lorem ipsum. It's like used by type man or, uh, like magazine editors and things like that as placeholder text. And that's what I'm using it for here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is make sure that I'm in editing mode by clicking the blue pen tool at the bottom right. And you'll notice at the top that I have the option of adding photos, right? So I want to kind of figure out where might the image that I want to uh, put into my writing fit. So it might be, you know, right here is where I talk about the, you know, topic in question. So wherever I have my cursor is where my photo is going to go. And I want to hit my plus button. And I'll have an option for an image. So when I tap image, I'm going to choose from photos. And what I want to do is grab the picture that I want to use. So I'm going to use this brick wall picture here that if you've seen different uh, tutorials of mine about, you know, using markup to add captions, you'll see what this is. And I'm going to add it in. And you're like, wow, that's really big and it doesn't really kind of fit. And that's correct because this is like the default look of Google Docs. But if I click the triple dots in the upper right corner, I get my menu to pop up and I have an option for print layout. If I toggle this over, watch what happens. Now I can tap on my image and these blue selection tool uh, you know, of, of my image, the outline of the image, I can drag these to make it smaller so that it can go where I want it to go. Now, I can make it a little bit smaller and make sure that my caption's readable. So this is something you've got to play with your font size you want to use in your photo tool when you're doing that. You may want to make your font a little bit bigger so it looks good. And then I'm going to tap this button right here that has like the square with the text around it. And what I want to choose, the default is going to be inline. So your image will show up inline with text, which means it kind of gets stuck in between and there's all this blank space. I want to choose wrap text. And if I choose that, you'll all of a sudden see the text wrap around it, right? So if I move this over, I can even make it a little taller if I want. Uh, I now have an image that looks very similar to how you might find an image in some of your readings that you do in things like Time for Kids or any other magazine that you might be familiar with. And you have the ability to continuously add images like this. And I'll do the same thing just to show you how you can have it look a little different. I'm going to hit the plus again. I'm going to hit image from photos. And now I'm going to choose a different image. Maybe I'll do uh, this one. This should be a familiar logo for many Sweet Home students. I'm going to tap on that. And again, because I already have my print layout on, right? I can now take this and drag it and make it a little smaller. And then check this button here, tap it, and make wrap text. And now that I have it wrapped, I can move it down a little bit and have it kind of fit in here with my writing. And it can be on the right or on the left. And in the end, you have a piece of writing that will allow you to add in any of your images that go along with whatever it is you're writing. So obviously you want to place them in the area of your text that it has a reference to it. So that makes sense because, you know, rarely do you see a picture that's completely unrelated to what you're reading about. So uh, think about your placement and pay attention to this. This is the last tip I'll give you. Uh, for the triple dots here, if I were to turn print layout off, it changes everything back to normal. But if I go back in here and turn print layout on, this is how it will look. So what you want to do is get all your writing done. And then once you're completely done with that, get your photos ready to go how you want them to look. Maybe you add your captions on the bottom. Then get this print layout turned on and start adding in your photos. You can still edit your text by clicking on your edit button. You can still go in and kind of change that around a little bit. But this is going to allow you to create some really kind of slick, cool-looking, professional kind of layouts 
uh, using Google Docs without it having to be sent out to a different app or anything like that. So um, hopefully you find this useful and you are successful in creating some really interesting looking documents with photos uh, that are really like nonfiction looking and, and, and cool and interesting to read. Uh, thanks for watching and good luck.